Hi, I'm Will Thacker. Hi, I'm uh, Blake Waters. And we're both creatives at Leo Burnett's. We're just looking at photos of the Queen on TV, I think, and we just noticed that the Queen seems to only wear one colour. We realised it's always the case, it never really changes. And then, so we just thought it'd be quite funny if we actually made like a, just a whole scale of colours. We actually had to go onto the old internet and scour a ridiculous amount of images just trying to find through the years, through these 60 years, all these different uh, colours and places where she wore them. And what we did in the end, Pantone, they actually found us the right colour reference. So this is Pantone 154421. And then uh, she wore it in Southampton Docks in 2010. And we've got 60 of them in this uh, lovely little book. Uh, it's a lovely, lovely little piece in the end and we're really, really happy with it. And everyone that sees me, it's like, can I, where can I get one from? I was approached here at Leah Burnett uh, two weeks before the Diamond Jubilee with a great concept of a Pantone swatch of the Queen's 60 years uh, in colour. The challenge for us was to actually create a swatch book which featured 60 different coloured outfits as worn by the Queen. And we work very closely with Pantone on this project. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, you know, they introduced us to um, the possibility of a seven colour um, print process which would actually allow us to achieve more colours than the standard four colour process. We wanted to find a data, a data merge process of getting those numbers in quickly mm. and then we could look at the, you know, the design and the kerning but also with this image of finding a way to take one image, remove all the colour from it and then have an area that we could just colour up individually yeah. every single time. Hi, I'm Paul Graham, I'm Pantone Sales Director in EMEA. We were delighted to be able to support the Queen's Diamond Jubilee with this fun and interesting project. Pantone guides are normally printed on a specially modified split duct offset press, printing 28 spot colours simultaneously at our production plant in New Jersey. When we looked at this project, it was clear that given the short run length, and very tight time scale, it had to be digitally printed on an HP Indigo 7 color press. I'm Gary Peeling, I'm Managing Director of Precision Printing in London in the UK. Uh, we were approached by Leo Burnett, HP and Pantone uh, about the project um, and obviously coming up to Jubilee week uh, we were very excited to be involved. Uh, quite unique in the fact that we have two iconic brands involved, Her Majesty uh, and also Pantone. For my working life, Pantone has really been the cornerstone of colour control. Only a very limited number of these books are being printed uh, and therefore the process had to be digital. We've worked very closely with the creative team at Leo Burnett, uh, the technical teams at HP uh, and at Pantone to make sure the representation is exactly as good as we can possibly get it. The limited number of copies are being hand numbered, so I can see this becoming a big collector's item in years to come. And my understanding, which is a real thrill to us here at Precision, is that Her Majesty will be presented one too.